Thanks for joining this call. My name is Jack, and I'm happy to help you with your next phase in your internet marketing. Um, when I started out in 2009, I kind of was very motivated to to do things, to make it happen, basically, and was not afraid to learn things and to to uh, start something new. And one of those things where setting up an AdWords campaign for somebody and also needed a website. And I kind of had a website which I liked, so I needed to learn how to clone a WordPress site. And at that time, there were not easy tools. So even the B Twin was not, uh, was not, Invented yet, and now with with the big gateway, you kind of can cl everybody can clone. You just say what you want to clone and where you want to clone it to. So this this is 100 times easier, or maybe 1,000 times easier than I started out. So I want to share my tools, my knowledge to help you to serve your own clients. And one of the questions that come in is uh, from uh, Arlene is what are what means a green cross for example? Now the green cross mean example, this site is hosted on the gateway. If it is a black cross here, that means it is only managing the site, but on a third party server. Now here, this green, the P can be green or can be gray. You see that? So if it is in P, that means the plugin gets automatically updated weekly. And here the T will also say the team gets automatically updated weekly if there's an update. So how do you click on the plus sign? And you click on the plus sign, you will see that uh, there's a setting to do all those things. One second. So you see automatic update all plugins. And if you check that box, that box will show green. And automatic update team version will also make sure that the team version get updated automatically. And if you are now... Now on this screen, you can say, I like this plugin for Google Analytics for WordPress, and I can set it as a favorite. What means favorite? It means that once you do a new install of a website via Derby Gateway, you can say, also install my favorite plugins. And if you select this plugin, it will show up as one of the favorite. Okay? And here, if you want, for example, Use your own name, duplicate with security. Let's say I want the white label name like R Lean Security. And if you update that, then in the back end of the team, it will not show the gateway security but Arlene security. So you kind of white label the Derby Gateway plugins. So then you can, there's no connection between the website and the Gateway for the client. Karen said, I have to set up my own WordPress blog. How do I find the best plugins you recommend and is solid? Uh, so within local team Jack, you can it has a block functionality. So at least I would use that, and then go from there, Gary. You don't need a lot of plugins, but use local team Jack and use the block functionality. So if I 
I think um, Karen can show that you. There's also on in the tutorials. Um, on the tutorials, you can also see how how the block functionality works. But local team Jack has a nice uh, block functionality. So you just select that for your page. So I have been talking uh, with Will before the recording about um, how do you want to grow your business? And Will uh, is an AdWords expert and he said, I'm going to try out a $5,000 package for the three months, $5,000 package. And I guarantee that the client will have, see, had at least $15,000 quoted. So at that point, there's actually no Dope that the client or the prospect want to do business with Will because with that guarantee the client almost cannot lose. So I don't do that typically. I uh, I let the client pay for the clicks and I I receive a management fee. They can cancel with me anytime the first month, and then after that I. I kind of feel we we do a one year term. So and the most work to set up a campaign is in the beginning. So once that is set up, it's not that hard anymore. You just keep optimizing, you keep testing ads, you track which keywords works, you add negative keywords and try to make sure that the website has nice call to actions to generate those calls or forms. Form submissions. Okay. And then, is that $5,000 per month? This $5,000 per three months is the package what Will is planning to uh, offer. $5,000 three months, including clicks. And his profit is about $1,500. So he will spend about fifteen hundred, uh, three thousand, five hundred dollar in for AdWords clicks in three months. So uh, if you divide it by, by three, is about twelve hundred dollar per month. And actually, if you if you go if this if you if the average quoted price is about five thousand dollar, basically you you only need three three uh, successful calls or, or form submissions. So that is relative, not that, that big. So, and if you know which keywords are generating calls, if you know which keyword or form uh, submissions, then it's not that hard. And the clicks, let's say the clicks are about $10. And you need, let's say, let's say you need about five clicks to have a call on form submission. So each call calls about five times 10 is $50. And, and from those calls, let's say you need three calls to have a, a nice quotations. So $50 something is $150 calls one quote uh, submission. And if you need uh, three of those, then your kind of calls is three times 150 is 450 dollars. So you kind of, and the budget is 1250, so you kind of have 800 dollars still to generate more calls. So you probably don't, uh, you probably can uh, stay within in the in your budget for the client. So it's not a bad uh, approach. Um, for sure, I think Will knows which keywords generate calls, which website gener generate results. So if you know your stats, if you have already a similar client like that, then uh, you... Uh, you know your stats. 
and you can make up your your numbers. Does that make sense, Aline? So Will, so Will said yes. Already have a client. So, and because Will has a client, he knows what works. He knows which website results in calls and in form submissions. Hi, Gerrit. Welcome. So today is about uh, your questions. So please ask a lot of questions, and I try to do my best. I like a lot of AdWords questions. That is kind of the things what I do daily. Move you guys went to the AdWords training so far. Uh, Alin said I did. Will said me. And didn't and Gary said just started it. Do you agree it is not that hard or just let me open a question? <laughs> Will said multiple times. And what do, did you think about it? Do you think did it help you with your confidence to set up an AdWords campaign and manage it? It's not that hard, correct? I think AdWords AdWords management is it's easier than SEO. I, d I really do believe that. SEO is so difficult with all those backlinking and kind of you do things what Google doesn't allow. So you're kicking to Google and what you like to do is you want to dance with Google. Arne said, make me confident it is not very hard answer just good logic and will makes a good point you must find the clients that fit the AdWords profile correct so first of all the client needs to have a good service so that he is able to pay for a client and that let's say he get a certain amount of calls or visits of form submissions that he can provide that service on a right way that they answer the phone that they are just a good trusted business and of course you know a started company is good but also kind of risky because for them, $100 is very important. They, they when a business starts, they're losing money in the beginning. But a combination of AdWords and Google My Business is actually, and a nice website is kind of a golden combination that you want to do. So, there's something that... Uh, I everybody advise to learn the Google AdWords management. Dell said, I'm a bit lost of setting up conv conversion tracking. I'm using call tracking phone number and don't want want to use Google phone number. Do I need conversion trackers to start uh, to start enable calls per click? Not really, you don't need, but at least when you set up a call tracking number, let's say you spent, let's say you spent one hundred dollar a day. At least, at least you want to know how many calls the one hundred dollar generated. Correct? Let's say it generated ten calls. At least you have now a number to show the business that you generated 10 calls. Now you can go a step further and listen to the replays of those calls or recording and then see if those all of calls make sense. Now 
you can go even a step further and say what keywords generated those calls so what a simple manual way is to check which keywords got clicks correct and what you see typically by a local business that you don't get many clicks these days and don't so much calls each day so each day you can look at it what keywords got clicked and what generated calls and if you do that for a couple of days or weeks you will see with a day where you had a lot of calls which generated a lot of calls and with a day what didn't generate a lot of calls we still had the clicks what didn't work and you get a feeling for that and so and you can optimize it to focus on the keywords what generate those calls you can increase the bid and the keywords what didn't generate the calls you can see if that helps with the negative keywords so that is the next step you can do and the step where I'm working on it now is to provide training how you can link your AdWords campaign with the call tracking okay so I'm working on that that you can see exactly which call which click on a keyword generated that call on a keyword basis so then it becomes very easy correct but that's the, the next level Google changed something in that system it worked before and now I'm updating it so the, back to the question do I need conversion tracking you do need tracking the calls so you have something to show to your clients how many calls you generated you can do a better job to see for yourself which keyword generated calls and which not and you do that for a month the first month when you set up an AdWords campaign you want to kind of see what's going on and after the first month you just look at maybe one hour per week to see which ads are working the best and if the call is still coming in and then after a month you do one hour each two weeks and then you work only one or two hour for the management fee and your goal is to make one hundred dollar per hour you, yeah I, I I haven't found anything else with which makes that kind of money so easily so make sense Dale The another advantage of call tracking is also that you can record the call but also send I don't know if I have numbers in this uh, that you can have a voice message a voice message that uh, after amount of seconds you the caller you can record the call they can leave a voice message and you can send the recording to the business owner so most business owners they are busy and although they need more clients they kind of don't have time to speak to them so you if they are on a job they they don't have time to answer the phone but they they like to have a text message with the recording in it so they can listen to the call and then call back easily so that's a big advantage of call tracking okay so that's what you all can do in text message okay and there's so ma many more settings your name of course IVR settings if you have a bigger company you can say press 1 for department 1 press 2 for department 2 kind of thing you can enable your number that it also works for text message leads this works in the United States it doesn't work in Australia 
you can choose your call ringtone, the call recording. Okay, if you enable that, the whisper, so the call receiver now is where the calls is coming from. The voice message is very powerful, so you can have it enabled in X amount of seconds. And then send the recording either by email or by text message. Email alerts for missed calls or and every call. Text message leads, very powerful nowadays. So you get a text message with the recording. And of course, disable the number. Does that make sense? Very simple, correct? You send a set up. Uh, call tracking. I tested the voice message for a client while he was on holidays and found that most people didn't leave a message. Therefore, it seems to be best to answer the phone calls. Yes. It's always the best to answer the phone calls, but no, not everybody are able to do that. Okay? So... Uh, kind of thing probably the business owners can answer the call the best but you need employees to run the business okay so maybe it's not the best but at least it's second best answer the calls is is always the best but leaving a voice message is second best it's much better than not able to leave a voice message Will ask Jack what is that Ninja product about? I don't know where he refer to. The promotion that I run last week, I just sent out an affiliate promotion. I think that's where you refer to, correct? So it's not my product. Or oh, is that uh, the Facebook uh, local uh, clients ninja that was um, Facebook Messenger okay so that was about um, a strategy to prospect new businesses via a text message okay so you got training what to say how to say it uh, to, to prospect local business via via the Facebook message. It is manually, but it lays out the plan how to do it. This is for training from an hour plus bonuses. That was about two weeks ago. Will you guys uh, bought local client Ninja and, and who went to the training? Four training from an hour. And did you like it? Is it kind of another way to prospect it? Correct. Sometimes it fits you that way. Sometimes you like just send an email. Sometimes you. Uh, if you are a real marketer, you kind of answer the phone too. So in business, you might want to contact multiple times to get, get an account. Okay. Any other questions? I got a lot of good questions, so keep coming. Let's 
see if I have a local client then yeah actually I think it's, it's one hour four times one hour training yeah so let me go to jackomo.com then you see let me so when you go to jackomo.com you kind of have access to um my products, you go to the Sales Dynamo Jack and Local Team Jack membership site, the AdWords training and the Maps PSD. We are working actually on a new <laughs> additional training for Maps PSD. Uh, Google is changing all the time, so we are working on it to share that information with you. Here is the, the replay listed. You probably see that when you see this uh, webinar. Uh, related links. Then Sales Dynamo Jack is about the new Biz Prospector and Local Team Jack Enterprise and Lead Finder Jack. So it's a very complete package. The Enterprise gives you access to all those nice teams. One click install, nuts and bank, gets better and better and better to handle your payments. Also linked to the call portal. And Silent Prospector, Amazon Hosting. Silent Prosp Amazon Hosting is um, just well as demoed you to host your sites and manage your site. Silent Prospector to prospect uh, clients of, or business owners to offer your service or their service. Lead Finder Jack finds uh, leads in your niche. Call tracking, what we discussed today, that you at least want to sh show your results and link it to your mar marketing budget and see how many calls you generated. Double gateway secure, you really definitely want to secure your website. It's the most up to date security plugin I know, and the local Atlas training, what you really want to do. And manage what you want to learn to have a sustainable monthly uh, income. Okay, so those are the products. Anybody, any question about one of those products? Yeah, if you have sales on with Jack, if it also includes the MAPS PhD training and the MAPS PhD expert, and you get those training automatically for free, or they are included. Local Client Ninja was a special promotion two weeks ago. I can put that link somewhere on jackhomel.com, but I haven't yet. Okay. So, any other questions? Yes, it. But my question is, as you update sales on Jack, do we get the updates immediately? Yes, I just have to put them in the membership site. So kind of you get them immediately once I put them in the membership site. So probably next week you will see some uh, new documents. So if you go to the membership site, see if you can do that. Uh, And then you go to Maps PhD. You see that now part one, part two, part three, part four. 
and it will be then a part 5. Okay, so Gira said, okay, thank you. We don't have to repurge or upgrade. Correct. It's part of as long as you're an active enterprise or sales item or jack member, you get access to it. I think only with the sales item or jack, I'm not sure. Okay. So with that said, uh, I thank you all for those great questions. Um, try to think about now we kind of uh, we kind of have the best part the, uh, of this year is gone. We have now month eight, so we have four months to go: August, September, October, November, December. But still five months to go: August. September, October, November, December. So five months to go. So how do you want to grow your business that you meet your goal of this year? So reflect on it. I did that past week. I came back with a lot of new talks, hired new extra programmers. And I, I would like you to do the same. And check out and check out jackhomlet.com. All your tools and training is available, and you just select the ones it fits you the best. Thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to see you next week.